welcome to this week's video so this week i am yet again continuing my journey through the prismic spray palette by the fino Volopolo. this week we have siren and as you can see on the screen right now i am preparing my mixtures i'm using a mixture of my Mygello mission gold colors and my peerless watercolors from Peerless, I mostly used my sky blue from the main palette and then a bunch of colors from the extra samples one. I'm also using a brand new palette from me, I really love it. And I also have a new quill brush, which I also love. Uh, right now on the screen, there is the sketch. I hadn't shared the sketches yet, but this one was so faint that I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys. I have been sharing the sketches and the whole process with my Patreons. So if you like to be a bit more in depth of my process, you can always check out my Patreon and just be a bit more in on the inside of the whole thing. I'm also just going over with the line art because I honestly lost the full line art with one wash since it was so faint. <laughs> so for this piece, obviously I am being inspired by the pigment Siren and of course it's all blue, even though Siren is quite, I, I'd say almost silver. I really wanted to focus this on a single color, so I had all the mixtures. I'm taking just colors that already exist, so I can kind of have the most pure, so to speak, look. Like Because if I mix colors, um, it might go a bit off to one side, so I just, I'm just i rather enjoying just using colors that I already have. And using this palette was actually just a joy. <laughs> so for this one, Siren, I wanted to have something very moody, very almost sad. Sirens for me are gorgeous. And for me, a siren is a bit more different than a mermaid. For me, sirens are a bit more solitary and kind of sad looking. Uh, I am noticing sort of a theme with my characters. I think the only one that was almost happy was the nymph. All of them are kind of sad. <laughs> but I think it quite fits and I'm actually really really happy with her I wanted her hair to be quite light and fluffy and I think it came out pretty cool in the end I can't wait for you guys to see the final shots while I was recording the final shots Lukas was being an adorable being and just really interested in being near the piece plus it was sunny so if you want to see my little kitty just being a super adorable little fluff, stick around to the end of the video and you'll be able to see her. <laughs> Since these videos have been kind of the same thing, like rinse and repeat, here's the creature, here's the piece. Uh, and honestly, in terms of the execution of the piece, this one was pretty straightforward, even though I thought it looked like trash maybe until 80% of the way, <laughs> but it was still very fun. So I asked around on Instagram for some questions that you guys might have as to allow me a little bit of just any topics and I got four here. One is pretty cool and pretty big, which is about uh, anime, manga and OTPs and art supplies. So I'm going to leave that one for my next video, which will be the last one of the series and possibly make a full list. I really have to think about which animes and mangas I want to talk about. So that one will be my last one uh, for the next video and that will be the topic as well. And I have a few here and I decided to just talk about them just so we can have something fun. And in case you wondered any of these, it's also nice for me to talk about them. So Andy Apollis asks, do you have a day job? And if you're in school, what you're studying? Uh, I currently don't have a day job. I used to have one, <laughs> but then uh, my contract ended. So my old day job was working on a sort of a realtor thingy where I used to work with Airbnb and just decorate the houses some and also just welcome the guests. It was a bit of a all over the place job. It was fun in a way that I talked to foreign people all the time. It was really good to practice my English but at the same time was crazy hours, very low pay, so... And they kind of expected you to be always on the clock. Like if something came up at 3 a.m., you had to take care of it. Like if a guest got locked out, you had to take care of it. But this guest could be locked out maybe three hours away. <laughs> so it was a bit of a shit show in terms of a job, but it was good for me to grow as a person. I am currently unemployed, like I mentioned, 
and I actually started a new course of three months um, which is about social media and I'm pretty excited about it it might help me have some tools that I currently don't possess and hopefully help me have a greater like perspective of this and just maybe hopefully be well about it Claycat also asked me if I ever thought to get here in terms of a growth of my channel source slash page because this was on Instagram and yes and no because I mean I obviously wanted to get somewhere because I mean I didn't start at a time for example if someone started YouTube 10 years ago they wouldn't expect to grow and to be able to live from it but I started my whole digital career at a time where I knew it was possible so of course I wanted to get here but it never really seemed possible I knew it was something I wanted to get there but I still get like when someone tells me oh your artwork is amazing and it inspires me so much I still get a little a little bit like are you sure you're talking to the right person? <laughs> Which is a bit silly, but it's definitely something I'm not used to yet. And I honestly don't think I ever will be. I obviously like my art sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I like my art. But most of the times I'm just doing what I kind of know. And I don't think I am that skilled in neither drawing, painting. I know I have tons of stuff to learn. So it, I never really expected people to be so kind to me, honestly. And even in terms of talking to people online, I it took me maybe a year or so to even spoke to even speak to the first person online because I was so scared. I was kind of scared to just be a weird kid, you know, like that. I am weird. I've always been with a weird kid, but I was just scared and. I'm actually fortunate now to have lots of friends over on Instagram and YouTube and you guys have been just so dear on the comments. I get all giddy all the time. So please comment on the videos because it just makes me smile and you guys have been awesome. Honestly, I just and this whole project. I hope you guys are enjoying this whole project because I'm really, really excited for this whole project to be fulfilled and finished. I'm only missing Hag. So I'm really, really excited. I have already the sketch. I It's actually the second version of the sketch that I'm doing for the final one because it was was not quite there and I might still do a few changes because Hag, for some reason, I'm finding a bit difficult because it's always coming out as a very cutesy witch and I wanted something else, so I'm still not sure. So one of the other questions asked by my dear Alice Real is what have you been most excited about lately? To be quite honest, it's been difficult for me to be excited about anything at all <laughs> lately. One of the things for sure has been watching series and animes with my friends. I am fortunate to have a very small but very kind group of people that call my friends and we usually watch anime on Discord together and it's honestly pretty much one of my highlights of the week. I always have fun with them and it's been one of the things I've been just looking forward to. Also food. Super important for me. I tried to do cinnamon rolls the other day. They look awful but they taste nice so <laughs> food has been a very nice thing <laughs> to look forward to. Other than that I have just been trying to live day, a day at a time and just try to enjoy my art as most as I can. I kind of wanted to play more games as well, but my computer is not great for gaming, even though I really want to play more games, but right now I'm just having lots of fun watching anime again, which was a time that I didn't watch a lot, and now my love for anime has come back strong. And I think it also helps that I'm watching some series with my friends, so that has been my highlight of every week, just a day where we watch a bunch of series, and we have lots of fun, we laugh, and it's just a very silly grand old time. So this is the very fun part of Sparkles. And like I mentioned, this blue is kind of a shimmery silver. So the mica glitter here is silver, but it has a small undertone of blue. And I think it contrasts very well with this.
In terms of working on the scales, at first I was looking for, I was going for a very not really worked <laughs> look. I was going to do only a few, but then at the bottom of the tail, I kind of went on pilot mode. And when I noticed, I started doing full on scales everywhere. So I kind of had to do it all the place. <laughs> So this video is pretty much always at the end. I want to say thank you for being so cool. And for those of you that watch my Skillshare class and uh, my new Skillshare class on Ink, thank you so much. Uh, I will leave a link down below for it if you want to check it out. I'm really happy with it and how ever you guys have been enjoying it. I've been getting messages, let me know that you watched it and that you like it and that really means a lot to me. Also, all the links on my Instagram, Patreon, shop, all that good stuff will be down below. And here is my beautiful kitty Lukas just being un super dark and she just wanted sun and it didn't matter if she was stepping on my illustration. <laughs> but cats, I mean, right? <laughs> She's very cute and She's very well behaved. This is the most she misbehaves and this is just adorable. So thank you again for watching and for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 1,500. I really don't know how to say that number. <laughs> Subs here and that's just awesome. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know how you are feeling about this project so far. And thanks for being here again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.